this has been a long dialogue going on for some time, Rajesh. I mean, you know, as Nal mentioned, um, it started with the Industrial Revolution, where people thought, you know, once you have the steam engine or you have a automated weaver, you're going to lose a lot of jobs. And you do, you did put a lot of weavers out of work in those days. But eventually, cloth became a lot cheaper, and then there were even more factory jobs. Um, and we've seen the same thing uh, back to the 70s when you had sort of the feminist movements or back to World War II when there were, there were women coming into the workforce. And people were saying, well, you know, with all these women coming into the workforce, there's going to be less jobs for guys. Um, but I don't think that that has materialized either. In fact, I'll speak for myself and say I create a lot of work for people. I may, I may, or maybe I make more work for people than there should be. Um, but, you know, coming on to sort of, you know, even reality of where we are today, um, for a company like Wipro, we're actively trying to use cognitive computing. In fact, we've come up with our own cognitive computing platform. We're actively looking to use automation technologies um, to reduce the work that can be done by people. But, not, but that doesn't really mean that there are fewer jobs or necessarily that we would even be hiring fewer people. What it means is that there are other things that we want people to do. Um, the truth is, as a, as a human animal, so to speak, um, none of us like to do jobs that are highly repetitive or highly predictable. Um, we find them boring. Um, and we, we'd like to do work that has a lot of variety, um, that has a lot of creativity to it. And um, you know, as, as Darwin said once very famously, the survival of the species is really about um, the animal that's the most adaptable. Mm. Um, and so um, w one of the things that we see, even with cognitive computing, um, machines need to learn, they need time, and then they're still at this point, um, learn over a period of time to do more predictable things. And um, uh, the creative aspects of the job uh, where you need rapid learning, the rapid adaptability. Um, that's still a very human element. I mean, if you think of it in programming terms, you know, it takes about uh, 15, 16 years at the minimum to, to program the human being uh, to do uh, a lot of the things that we do, um, which is not trivial in the amount of time you need to program a machine to interact with us. Thank you.